Hello and welcome to Circuits from the Lab. My name is Trisha, and today we'll look at ADI's new benchtop power supply reference design, the CN0508. A high quality benchtop power supply is an essential piece of equipment in any electronics or science laboratory. However, such supplies are typically large in size and come at a high cost. This is where the CN508 comes in. The CN0508 provides a low-cost adjustable power solution with performance comparable to commercial power supplies. The CN0508 is a single-channel benchtop power supply that features a manual or software control of its wide output voltage range of 0 volts to 27.5 volts and manual current limiting of up to 3 amperes. This topology combines the high power efficiency of the LT8612 buck converter and the low output noise, low ripple, and adjustable current limiting of the LT3081 linear regulators. Software control is done through a Raspberry Pi 0W using an ADI Kuiper Linux. ADI Kuiper Linux is a distribution based on Raspberry Pi OS that incorporates device drivers for ADI products and supported platforms. It also includes a host of additional software libraries, utilities, and applications like the IIO oscilloscope which can control the CN0508. This is what you get when you order the CN0508. Inside the box, you will get the CN0508 and the standoffs for the board. There's four designated holes on the edges for these standoffs. Just insert the screws to these holes and connect the stands. It's just quick and easy. There are several ways to connect and control the CN0508, either through a wired or wireless network connection, or even with an attached touchscreen. To demonstrate its standard capabilities, this tutorial will show how to set up and control the CN0508 with the Raspberry Pi 0W with a local monitor, keyboard, and mouse. To start, we will need the following items. The CN0508 Evaluation Board, a Raspberry Pi 0W, a 16GB or larger SD card, an offline power supply, a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter, a monitor with an HDMI, HDMI to HDMI cable, 4 ohm 50 watt resistor, a multimeter, a micro USB OTG adapter, and a keyboard and a mouse on a USB hub. We are going to start with an SD card containing the ADI Kuiper Linux configured for the CN0508. For more instructions on how to burn and configure an SD card with the ADI Kuiper Linux, please visit the link below. First, insert the SD card in the SD card slot on the Raspberry Pi 0W. We will be using an HDMI monitor as a display. Connect the mini HDMI to HDMI cable from the Raspberry Pi 0W to the monitor. To be able to control the Raspberry Pi 0W locally, we also need a keyboard and a mouse on a USB hub. Connect the hub through the USB OTG adapter to the Raspberry Pi 0W. Connect the Raspberry Pi 0W to the backside of the CN0508 using the expansion header. The Raspberry Pi is powered from the CN0508 and doesn't require a separate external power supply for this application. Connect the 4 ohm power resistor across the output jacks of the CN0508 and connect the multimeter for comparison with the values you are setting and reading and software. Power up the system by connecting the power source to P2. Upon successful boot up of the Raspberry Pi 0W, you will see the Kuiper Linux desktop. Open the IIO oscilloscope application. When prompted, type in the password. 
close the capture window as we will not need it for this application. Viewing the CN0508 tab, you may set the output voltage as well as read the measurements for output voltage and current, regulator temperatures, and potentiometer knob positions. Notice the output voltage now is set to 0 volts by the DAC. Let's now try setting the output voltage to 10 volts. Notice that the output voltage follows whichever is lower between the electronically set voltage and the voltage set manually from the potentiometer. This allows the knob to function as a fail-safe when controlling the supply by the software, and it allows software to enable and disable the supply when setting the voltage manually. Current limit is set manually by the other potentiometer. Here, the load is drawing 2 amperes less than the 3 amperes full-scale limit. Lowering the potentiometer setting causes the supply to enter a current limit. Now, your CN0508 is ready for the workbench, or to be used as a module in a larger piece of equipment. If you'd rather write your own software to control the CN0508, the software stack is based on an industry standard IIO framework, so writing your own code in Python, C, C Sharp, or even MATLAB is super easy. I hope this tutorial has helped you set up your CN0508. Thanks for watching and please look forward to our next reference designs.